big up Brian Coleslaw on my Lungang Reddit page who submitted this rationalizing denominators question, GCSE. Now, Brian, I thought I'd give you a special one and do an extra question for you as well. So, rationalizing denominators. Let's first go through the theory of rationalizing denominators. So, let's start off really basic. Let's do a little freestyle. Rationalizing denominators, okay? The first thing is, if I have something like root two, and I don't want it to have a root around it, what would you do to that number? You would square it, right? Rooting is the opposite of squaring, all right? Root two squared is just two, all right? Squaring just means multiply the number by itself. So root two times root two is two. Nice. Root three times root three is three. Root x times root x is x, okay? If I put one of these roots within a denominator like this, and I want to rationalize that denominator, well, I know root two times root two is two. I just need to multiply this by root two, okay? Root two times root two is two. But this is equivalent fractions. You can't just times a denominator by root two. You have to times the top and bottom by root two. Root two times root two is two. One times root two is two, okay? Same as if I had one over root three. I would times top and bottom by root three. Root three times root three is three. One times root three is root three. So this is how we rationalize denominators when there is a single term in the denominator. But what happens when we have a couple of terms over here? Well, things change slightly and we need to use a different concept. And it's a very simple concept, one that you are probably familiar with. It's known as the difference of two squares. So say I took one over root two, but then I just put plus one, all right? On initial observation, you might think, oh, I need to multiply by root two again. Okay, because I want to rationalize this bit, all right? But we would need to protect this with a bracket because you can't just multiply this single term um, by root two when there's two terms here, okay? Now if I times by root two, I'd have to expand. Root two times root two is two. But I'd have to multiply by this. I get one times root two, which is just root two. And I get root two on the top. That has not rationalized it, okay? So multiplying by single terms does not work anymore when it comes to rationalizing denominators with two terms in the denominator, okay? So we need a different strategy. I'll write the one again. The other strategy we need to figure out is, I essentially wanna square that, right? Like I said before, root two, I need to square it to make it two. I can't just square that value. I need to somehow square this value as well. And the way we do that is we think about the difference of two squares principle, which is a squared minus b squared is we do two brackets, a and b, a and b, one of them is plus, one of them is minus, okay? If you expand this, you get a squared minus ab plus ab, which cancel minus b squared, okay? How would this work with this example? Because look, we have this, and somehow with this principle, we could be squaring this number and squaring this number. A and B are basically my root two and my one, okay? So let's write that here. A is root two, B is one with a plus. It's the same as this, right? If I multiply this by the same thing, root two and one, but with a minus, it ends up being the square of the first term, yeah? Remember A I said was root two. It becomes root two squared, minus the square of the second term, one squared. Root two squared is two, minus one squared, which is one. Okay, it's done. So that is not an irrational number anymore. There's no roots around it. So when you have two terms in the denominator, you basically need to use this difference of two squares principle, multiply it by itself, just change the sign, all right? 
So I'm going to multiply this by itself. Uh, whoops. Multiply by itself. Uh, me. But change the sign. But remember, you can't just multiply the denominator by root 2 minus 1. You need to multiply the top by root 2 minus 1. Okay? Now remember, using the difference of two squares principle, when you multiply this by itself but change the sign, the denominator, using the difference of two squares principle, you square that number and you square that number, but you're taking the difference. Okay? So what's that going to look like? Well, the square of root 2, the square of root 2 is 2, the square of 1 is 1, you subtract them. On the numerator, you just have 1 times this, which is just this. 2 minus 1 is 1, so we're just left with root 2 minus 1. Nice. Now let's take a look at your question, Brian Colson. And we can do a little bit more simplification with this one. It's slightly tougher than the example I've shown you, but that's how maths works. We will make things slightly tougher as we go along. So we've got root 5 minus 1. We've got 7 plus root 5. To rationalize this denominator, using the difference of two squares principle, I'm going to multiply it by itself, change the sign. Okay. Now here we have to be careful. There's two terms there. We're going to have to introduce a brick as well. Difference of two squares. When we simplify that, I square this, root 5 squared is 5, square this, 1, minus them. You don't need to show middle terms when you're expanding the bracket. Now we need to expand this as well, yeah? So we have 7 times root 5 is 7 root 5. Here we have 7. Here we have root 5 times root 5, which we already know is root 5 squared, which is 5. And then we have root 5 times 1 is root 5. 5 minus 1 is quattro. 7 root 5 plus root 5 is 8 root 5. 7 plus 5, 12. Now we're not done yet, because 8 divided by 4 is 2. 2 root 5. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. And that, Brian Coleslaw, is your answer. So, let's take a look at part B. My question that I wanted to do as well. As part of extra practice. Find the value of x that satisfies x root 12 plus root 15 is 1 over root 3. All right. Now, there's many ways you can do this. The first thing I notice is that root 12 can be simplified. Uh, root 15 cannot be simplified. Because root 12, when we root a number, we're thinking about square numbers, right? Now, I know a square number that goes into 12, and that's 4. So I can rewrite this as root 4 times root 3, which will become 2 root 3. Now, that's one way of doing it. Another way you could think about doing this is when we solve, and I teach this to my students all the time um, at my space. If you guys are interested in my GCSE courses, check the description is we do not like fractions. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply through by root 3 to get rid of denominators. So that goes root 12 times root 3. 12 times 3 is 36. Plus root 15 times root 3. 15 times 3 is 45. Is 1. Beautiful. Because root of 36 is just 6. So we get 6x plus root 45. Now here again, I'm going to start simplifying that. Square number that goes into 45, 9. So I'm going to write this as the root of 9 times 5 is 1. Root of 9 is 3. Root of 5 is irrational, is 1. All right, cool. So let's take this plus 3 root 5, let's move it to the other side. So we get 6x is 1, take away 3 root 5, and then finally we're going to divide by 6, okay? So we get x is that, but take a look at the question. Can you say give your answer in the form a plus b root 5? What they've done is they've split the fraction, okay? So to be careful here, we're going to write as 1 6 minus 3 6. 3 divided by 6 is a half, so I'm going to say a half 
and then root five. And that is my solution to that one. But there's many ways you could have done a question like this, but I think this is the most efficient way. So, Brian Coleslaw from the Lung Gang Reddit page. Hopefully this helped you out, my guy. Um, and guys, head to the Lung Gang Reddit if you want to submit questions and discuss all things mathematics. Hit the like button if you learned something. Subscribe for more maths content. If you're interested in my GCSE maths courses, links in the description. And we are hosting GCSE Easter Revision courses as well. So if you're interested in that, we're offering super high discounts right now because it's a bit earlier on. It's going to happen in a couple of months. So information in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Nice.